When you think about famous generals from World War II, it's likely names like Patton, Eisenhower, MacArthur, Bradley. Our Noel Brennan explains why Colorado should know Rose. This is a big deal now that he's a colonel. And sometimes great people get lost in history. And Rose was one of them. History you've likely never heard. It took me six years to write the book. Marshall Fogel um, will try to condense. You never know when to stop. It starts with Major General Maurice Rose. This scrapbook is from the Rose family. The dropout from East High School. Which makes the story even greater. Became the most decorated battle tank commander ever. He knew what he was doing. And highest ranking Jewish soldier in World War II. And this is what Eisenhower said about Rose. He was not only one of our bravest and best, but was a leader who inspired his men to speedy accomplishments. He was out in front of his division, leading it in one of its many famous actions when he met his death. March 30th, 1945, German tanks cornered Rose and he was shot. A nation mourned, but a legacy was largely forgotten. And you don't ever hear about Maurice Rose. His name has been hiding in plain sight. We're celebrating our 70th anniversary of Rose Medical Center. The hospital opened in 1949, thanks to donations from 10,000 soldiers who fought under Major General Maurice Rose. General Eisenhower came here. Ike even laid the cornerstone. He was a war hero, and um, this was a way for the community to honor him in 1949. He's commanding 16,000 people. An anniversary in, in is a good Illinois reason to retell his story. History should world. remember it. It's a great reminder of how important it is to honor our veterans. That's what I hope comes out of it. For next, I'm Noel Brennan. A few minutes ago, Rose Medical Center unveiled a restored portrait of General Rose. If you ever happen to be pushing your wife in the lobby to have a baby upstairs, you'll glimpse the portrait off to the left.